Young William. Hey, Chris. <laughs> That's Young William from uh, Tech On Demand. Yes, sir, and that's Chris Babies from Grower Talks Magazine. And we are here covering the 2021 California Spring Trials. We've spent that's all spring. day that's summer spring. trials. It's summer trials. Thank you, Gen Z, for reminding me. It's summer trials, June 22nd out here. And we've spent all day at the Pan American Seed location. Actually, I guess it's the ball company's ball company's location, in Santa Paula. Uh, talking about eight different companies. And right now, we're going to talk about their Selecta division, which is a vegetative annual company, and we have a new series. We do, we do. Beats Verbena, and, and I, I like the name, it's kind of creative, but it's really about this series not missing a beat. It continues to flower, uh, doesn't cycle out. I thought it went along with the rock and roll stuff we saw at uh, the last trial we were talking about over there. Oh, at, uh, we've got Keith. the beat. <laughs> anyway, uh, Beats is uh, tremendously versatile. Um, they've got it in everything from, hey look, packs, it's pack trials. Show Where's them it's packs? a pack. <laughs> we got packs? Jumbo packs, admittedly. We've got quartz, we've got uh, six inch, well eh, maybe that's uh, two quart. Uh, we've got color bowls, uh, pretty much any size you could imagine. Uh, hyper, that was the word, hyper uniform. And you see this, this rack? How nice these look up here. So you know that's gonna be like a bench run, easy to ship, looks great at retail kind of a product. Technically claim, speaking, Bill? Claim is it's two weeks earlier than other Verbena on the market. Uh, and very easy, easy to program, easy to schedule for growers. No pinch, no PGR needed. So that is Beats Verbena. Did we tell them how many colors in the series? It was six colors and two mixes. Uh, that's exactly right, Trixie mixes. Correct. No less. Now, Let's move into some petunias, specifically the sky petunias. Bill, you remember you worked for them when they started this. Oh, absolutely. You? We I were mean, marketing the, the night sky. It was a breakthrough. Very, very unique and, and grabbed a lot of attention really, you know, really quick out of the gate. All right. And there's two new ones to join the sky pattern. This one, I love this. This is uh, headliner Enchanted Sky. And what's nice about this, let's see if we can get in there and really show that, it's got both the, the st spots um, of the sky and it's got a star in the middle of it. So that makes almost like a, you know, double the, double the fun. And then the other new one here is, is uh, a scar Starlit Midnight Sky, which is just rich, deep velveteen purple with those white specks on it. Absolutely striking. And uh, you know, there's, they even have a, a catchphrase now for just how versatile the, uh, the sky pattern is. What is that, Bill? It is skies for every size, which is really a big part of the message because there are these uh, sky patterns that fit into the existing series of petunias. So they actually mm -hmm. match the other series, uh, which we just right. talked about, the Enchanted Sky Fits Headliner and Midnight Sky Fits the Starlet. And I should mention that you could see the Midnight Sky is the most compact of all of them so far. Uh, what else are we gonna take a look at here? I think it's Calabracoa which something Select has long been known for. I mentioned Calabracoa and uh, Select has been doing them just about as long as anybody has with their mini famous series, which has really been broadened out over the years to include the Unos, which are their most uh, compact uh, series. This is a brand new one, uh, yellow and red vein. Their Neos are the more vigorous type. This is a, a brand new one called Neo Pink Hawaii. Beautiful pink flowers with stars on them. Swing around up to the top, Jen, because one of the things that Select is most known for is their double uh, caliber colors. And this is uh, a mini famous Uno double orange flame. Those are really, look at where the sun hits these. Those are just gorgeous, those beautiful flowers here. Another double, this is an improvement. This is double red down here. And then I'm going to show you one that would look pretty boring to you. If I told you it's a, a, a white that's an improvement, you'd say ho-hum, but white is just the most important color in any bedding plant series because it mixes with everything. So we've got uh, Mini Famous Neo White 22, which is timed now to be earlier, so it times with the rest of the series. So that's a critical one for the, all of the, uh, the Trixie mixes that can now get a beautiful white caliber color in them. Hey, Bill. You hey, working Chris. on uh, Calanchos over there? Yeah, I'm actually checking them out. This is a, a all new series of Calanchos from Selecta called Mandala. 
And they're really excited about this because it is extremely uniform and very, very grower friendly. So that's really the, uh, the key points to, to this, uh, this new program. And um, they're, they're talking about using this not just as a potted plant, but also uh, for outdoor use. See, that, that's something Gary Vollmer was talking about, emphasizing. It's a great potted plant. They've tested this with some of the big potted calancho growers, the weekly uh, growers uh, here in the U.S. and Canada. They all seem to like it. Now they want to get it into the bedding plant grower. And into peak seasonal sales windows uh, to really start to move this out of the indoor plant area into the outdoor area for containers and even in the landscape. Now, will that work? We shall see. We, well, that's exactly right. We shall see. They're good looking plants, uh, 13 colors, and a novelty I'll show you in a second. So a good broad range, it's supposed to be super even, uh, uniform. That's what a bedding plant grower wants. Uh, but if you're a calancho grower and you want something unusual, check this one out. This one's called Croco, as in crocodile. It is a, uh, it's, I think he, Gary called it an incomplete Flowering, flowering. calancho, which means the flowers really never open up. They just make buds. And uh, so it makes a real component, uh, interesting component or a textural plant. This, I think, would go well in any succulent collection. Yes. That, and the rest that of them, consumers are going to want. The rest of them kind of succulents with color. It's, That's it's an interesting it, idea. I can, I can see, I, I hope that it catches on. I'm going to take a croco home. Definitely. Take it with you. Put it All right. Case. That is uh, Chris and Bill from uh, Selecta here at the 2021 California Summer Trials. Croco. Croco. I think it Rocco's.